Wouldn't it be nice if you could turn your TV on or off with your Apple TV? But how can we do this? So with iOS 12, we were able to create a shortcut that would allow us to turn on our TV and dim our lights. I discussed how to do this in a previous video. However, everyone wanted to know how can I turn off my TV without searching for the remote. And at the time, this wasn't possible. There was no way to do this. Well, thanks to Apple's iOS 13 update, we can now do this and so much more with Apple TV using Siri and the Shortcuts app. Before we start, there are some things you will need. First is the Apple Shortcuts app. If you're on the current iOS 13, then it's now part of your phone. If you delete it or cannot find it, then just go to the App Store and download it. But in order to run the shortcut that we're going to create, you will need to have the current iOS 13. If you do not have this iOS 13, then what you need to do first is update your phone. If you are unable to update to iOS 13 because your phone is too old, then I'm sorry, the shortcut will not work for you. Another thing that you will need, but not required, is an HDMI CEC compatible TV. If you want to turn your TV on or off with Apple TV, then this is going to be necessary to have, or the only thing that's going to happen is your Apple TV is going to wake up, but your TV won't turn on with it. So in order to be able to do this, you need to ensure that your TV is compatible with HDMI CEC. And most modern TVs are compatible with this. That's why they're able to work with cable boxes and all these other things. Now before you start, please ensure that your iPhone or iPad that you're going to be doing this on is on the same Wi-Fi network as the Apple TV. If you're not on the same network, then you will not be able to locate your Apple TV in the following steps. First, let's open the Apple Shortcuts app. Make sure you're on the My Shortcuts tab at the bottom of the page. You can either press the plus sign in the top right hand corner of your screen, or you can scroll to the bottom of the shortcuts that you have already created and press the Create Shortcut. If you haven't created any shortcuts, then it's going to be the only item there for you to select. We're going to select Add Action. It's located right here in the middle of the screen. You're going to select Apps. Select Apple TV Remote from the list. Then from the pop-up list, we're going to select Wake Apple TV. After selecting Wake Apple TV, you will now have a shortcut on the screen. You'll notice that there is a dark blue Apple TV. You're going to select that and you're going to wait for your Apple TV to show up on the list that shows up. After it's shown up, select the desired Apple TV that you're wanting to work with today. So now that you have selected the Apple TV, not only can you turn on the Apple TV, but now you can also start an app with the Apple TV. I will go over how to do this in the next steps. If you're not interested in how to start an app automatically when the TV turns on, then you can skip ahead of this tutorial for the final steps. So after we've added the Apple TV, we now want to go and add the app that we want to open. So click the blue plus sign to add another action. You should still have Apple TV Remote up on your screen. If you do not, then do the previous steps from before. Select Apps then go to Apple TV Remote, and then that's where you'll begin. But after you're under this list, you want to go to Open App on Apple TV and select that. After it pops up, just like before, you'll see Apple TV in a dark blue. You want to select that. Once it pops up, wait for the list to show your TV that you're waiting to use. And please ensure that if you have more than one Apple TV in your home, that you select the one that you used in previous steps in order for this shortcut to work properly. So after selecting the desired Apple TV that you want to run the app on, you'll see that a new option has popped up. It says Open TV on Living Room TV. Now if you just want to open the Apple TV app, then you can leave it as is. But for me, I'm going to select the TV option and I'm going to scroll down. So I'm going to go with YouTube TV. So now you've added the app and it will automatically open on the TV when you run the shortcut. So wouldn't it be nice if, like in the previous video, you could be able to make a scene run whenever you run this shortcut? Now, if all you wanted to do was just turn on your TV and just automatically run an app, then you don't need to follow along this section. You can skip ahead. But if you'd like to run a scene where your lights automatically change for you or certain things happen, then these are the next steps, and we'll go through those. So the first step is, just like before, you're going to select the plus sign, and we're going to add another action you'll see Apple TV Remote has popped up again with all the selections, you'll click the X. Now the lights that I use in my home are the LifeX. I know that a lot of people they use the Hue lights and all these other lights, but what I use is LifeX. And in a future video I'll go over why I use those and I'll discuss the pros and cons of those. So after getting back to the apps page, 
you're going to select the app that pertains to the lights that you use in your home if you have any lights. So for me, LifeX gives me all these options to use with shortcuts. Now I can apply a theme, get scenes, list of lights, list themes, set of scenes, set brightness, light color, power, all of those different things. Now if I really wanted, I wanted to turn off three lights or dim three lights a certain way, then the best option would to be just to create a scene in the LifeX app and then just call to action that scene from right here. But for today's example, I'm just going to show you that you can call to action your lights using this app to run all together as a shortcut. So I'm just going to select apply theme. So once it pops up, it's going to give you different options. Whatever you decide to do, you just need to follow the steps of what is you're looking for. But for this example, I'm just going to click apply theme and I'm going to select theme. Now I'm thinking, okay, I like to watch TV in the evenings. I like it to be nice and warm feeling. I like to feel comfortable in my home. So I'm going to click warming. So it's going to change my lights to a warm color. Then I'm going to select the light. So I scroll down, well it's in my living room, so I'm going to select my living room lamp. I want my living room lamp to dim low, so I still have light, but it's not going to be blind me or putting a glare on my TV. Now if you have more than one light, like I said before, the best option is to create a scene and just call to action that scene instead of doing the theme. In the LifeX app, you can actually create a scene using the themes they provide for multiple lights, which will allow you to be able to call more than just one light at this point. Now you could go through here and just repeat this step over and over for every light. Fastest way is just to create one scene for all of them. So now that you've set up your lights and you've got them a certain way, we'll move on to the final steps of creating the shortcut to run your Apple TV to turn it on and off. So now that you have everything set the way you want, you can press next in the top right corner. Now if you skipped ahead and you're seeing extra things on my screen and not on yours, you don't need to worry. This will work for you too. Those extras were for those who followed along and wanted to add some extras to their Apple TV startup. So after selecting next, you're going to see an option to create the shortcut name. This is important that you name it something that you can remember because this is the command that you're going to give Siri in order to run the shortcut. You can always select it from the shortcut options on the app and just press it, but if you want to be able to tell your HomePod or your watch or your phone, you know, run this shortcut, then you need to make sure it's something that you can remember. So after selecting a phrase that you can remember, press done and test out your shortcut. Turn on my Apple TV. Okay, done. So we got the Apple TV to turn on, but how do we turn it off now? Well, it's pretty much the same process. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a new shortcut. You can either press the blue sign in the top right hand corner or scroll down to the bottom of your shortcuts and press create shortcut again. Then you're going to select add action. So just like before, after you select action, you want to click apps. Then you want to select Apple TV remote. Only this time we want to select sleep Apple TV. And what this is going to do is when you give the command it's going to put the Apple TV to sleep and it's going to turn off your TV if your TV is HDMI CEC compatible like I discussed before. So after selecting sleep Apple TV it's going to pop up on the screen and you're going to see sleep and it's going to say Apple TV beside it. The same as before you're going to select Apple TV and then you're going to wait and once your TV that you're wanting to use shows up select that TV. Now that's that's all we have to do for this. So all you need to do now is press next in the top right hand corner. Now you're going to see it's going to say name your shortcut and as I said before make sure you name it something that you can remember so that way when you give the command Siri will be able to remember it. For me I'm going to use turn off my Apple TV. Simple to remember. It's easy. Remember make it simple and make it something that makes sense to you so that way you can remember what you're supposed to say to activate it. So after selecting the name that you want to use press done. Now test out your shortcut. Turn off my Apple TV. Okay, done. And there you go. So that's how you turn your Apple TV with Siri shortcuts and set scenes to automate. I would appreciate if you hit the subscribe button, like my video, and turn the notifications bell. 
I hope you found this video useful. I'll be coming out with weekly videos and tips on how to make your home smarter. So keep a lookout for those in the future and thank you for watching.